Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. This week we had a caller to ask Dr. Barkin Colin Show who wanted to know what is C-reactive protein. I decided that this is a very important subject and I'll tie it to our coaching checklist too. So let's go now first and answer the question, what is C-reactive protein? C-reactive protein is a protein that is found in the blood in response to inflammation. The physiologic role of the CRP, C-reactive protein, is to bind to surfaces of dead cells or bacteria. And it's a marker for inflammation. Let's go now and look at an abstract that ties the C-reactive protein with the inflammatory status of the body with prostate cancer. Let's go now to our abstract. This abstract was published in the Urology Oncology 2012, January 30, ahead of publication on March 6. C-reactive protein is an adverse prognostic marker for men with castration-resisted prostate cancer, CRPC. Confirmatory results. When we look at the group of researchers here, we see a familiar name of a very well-known researcher. He did a lot of work on uh, vitamin D. His name is Dr. T. Beer. His group is from the Division of Hematology and Medical Oncology, Oregon Health and Science University. So let's go over the abstract itself. They claim that their group previously reported that higher serum concentration of C-reactive protein were associated with shorter survival in men with castration-resistant prostate cancer. To confirm this finding, in an independent data set, they used 119 patients that were enrolled in clinical two studies and they examined the relationship between CRP, the C-reactive protein, the alkaline phosphatase, the hemoglobin, the age, and the performance status, and the PSA with survival. The median follow-up was 19.7 months. 89% of the patients died. They were with advanced homorefractory disease. Here is what they found. In the Cox multivariate model, they found that CRP as well as hemoglobin and alkaline phosphatase were independently associated with survival, confirming that higher CRP is associated with shorter survival in castration-resisted prostate cancer. Since CRP is a marker of inflammation, this finding suggests that inflammation may play an important role in the natural history of advanced prostate cancer. CRP is a relatively measurable biomarker and has the potential to improve prognostic models and should be validated in a prospective clinical trial. What's so interesting about the CRP is this, this is one of those markers of inflammation that can be improved. And I must stress the fact that um, I always recommended patients to read the book, The Anti-Inflammatory Zone Diet Book by Dr. Barry Sears. We also all know that statin may affect favorably uh, the prostate cancer advanced disease. Well, guess what statin is doing? Statin is actually lowering the CRP, so we have another tool to measure the effect of any attempt that we are making to increase the anti-inflammatory capability of the body. Let's go now to our coaching checklist, and as you could see, we have here many tables about tumor markers, pathology tests, imaging tests, test related to bone integrity, hormonal profile test, and the last table, which is not the least important, is insulin resistance related to prostate cancer cell and heart disease. And under this category for the insulin resistant metabolic syndrome, we see here the HSCRP. HS stands for high sensitive CRP C-reactive protein. High sensitivity C-reactive protein 
is done in standard laboratory and I'm doing this test uh, as one of many to try to find what is the prognosis of the patient deciding on a certain mode of treatment and as we learn today the, it also the CRP is affected by the statin, statin lower CRP. Thank you for joining our Ask Dr. Barkin call-in show. If you have any question, you could call anytime. The phone number 1877-727-3301 or write us an email info, I-N-F-O, at pcref.org. Stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.